Hey guys, um, one of the things I'm asked a lot is what is a dark worker? Um, a dark worker is not somebody that works with evil forces. Um, a dark worker is somebody who, instead of pointing a finger at someone else, they look inside. A dark worker is someone who works on self first and then go ahead and help somebody else work on their self. Um, a dark worker is not someone who says, uh, well, you know, that is that man's fault, it's their fault, it's their fault. A dark worker is someone who takes you into yourself and goes, what allows you to, um, what allow, what, what in you allowed them to do this to you? What in you attracted this to you? What in you made you stay around this for so long? You know, a dark worker, one of the famous quotes that everybody knows in the call is know thyself. And in knowing thyself, you have to do dark work. And that's just going inside yourself and looking at every aspect of yourself good, bad, ugly, all in between, and loving all of it for who you are, because all of it is part of you, and embracing it, and knowing when to use what, or getting rid of those things that you and only you don't like. Not what society says um, is wrong, not what your beliefs from your cultural or spiritual background says is wrong, but what you, your higher self, and your spirit agreed upon what's good for you and what's not good for you. Um, that's what a dark worker is. It's also, um, to an extent, is also what most people in the call consider left hand path. Um, a yes, yes, the left hand path is uh, considered evil to or evil um, to according to society, but they do that on purpose to keep you away from what you should be doing. You know, the Bible says, "Out of the darkness comes the light." Well, how do you know what light to shine on people? How do you know how to help other people if you haven't helped yourself first? That doesn't make sense. Um, how can you help somebody else's relationship if your relationship is messed up? You know, get your own house in order first. This is one of the secrets also when Jesus in the Bible says, uh, before you look at the speck in their eye, remove the plank out of your own. Meaning, work on yourself first. It doesn't mean don't judge. Uh, this living in a man world of manifestation is not possible not to judge. Even if you wear a blue shirt instead of a green shirt, I decide to wear orangey lipstick instead of a clear lipstick like I normally do. That's still judging. Um, if I decide is everything, if I decide to eat apple instead of an orange, that's still judging. So all this not judging stuff, that's not what it means. Um, it just means make sure before you judge the other person on the situation, make sure that you have judge yourself in that situation and you know yourself enough that you and first know yourself enough to know that if you're able to help that person or not. If you're not able to help that person, leave it alone. A lot of times we're so quick to give advice uh, and we really have no knowledge on that subject or we just really speak it because we want to be heard that we're not really caring to help the other person. And I'm going off on a tangent, but uh, coming back to dark, um, dark work, it really is just going into the unseen, going into the hidden. Um, if you've ever been in the dark, you'll notice that there's nothing truly dark. Um, it's just stuff that's unseen. And the longer you stay in the dark, the more you adjust to the dark, you start to see what's really in there. And you can start, you know, moving things around or seeing things that, you know, the, because the light and dark together it brings a shadow that you don't get to see. And true darkness, you will see all. And then out of that, you can pick which light you want to shine and pick which light is supposed to shine for which situation. Um, I had the Bible verse about mine, but I just messed it up. But something about the cutting of a snake and the the dove, whatever. <laughs> my brain just totally messed it up. I was saying it the whole time in my head, and then when I went to say it, it went bleh. But uh, <laughs> anyway, that's what dark work truly is. It's not evil work. It's not trying to hurt somebody. It is putting yourself before others. Yes, it is. If you do not put yourself before others, you cannot truly help another. Uh, I, I can't, like, one of the things I always like to say, people always say, you know, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to give your last. If I give my last, that means someone has to give to me. If someone has to give to me, that means I have nothing to give. That makes no sense. What you do is you work on yourself. And as you work on yourself and know yourself and know what you're capable of, then you come up, come with other people who knows this stuff and knows what they're capable of. And then you share your, um, your qualities and share your hobbies and share the things that you're good at to create a society, to create a community that we're now all helping each other. 
not just everybody's trying to do everything and there's so much freaking confusion. Everybody's trying to be chief and everybody else is everybody else is trying to be chief and everybody else is gifts. No, that, that's that's not that's that. It, look at society. Society is always saying help, 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 and you're helping so much that your home is out of order, uh, you're broke, you're in debt, you don't even know what's going on with your kids, you wonder why you're divorced, um, you're wondering why your body's sick and tired. That helps no one. It helps no one. Help yourself first, and it's okay to say no. That's one of the biggest things we understand. It's okay to say no. Say no. Help yourself first, and then you can go out and help others and fully give yourself to others because your home is in order, so you're not worried about that. Your bills are in order, so you're not worried about that. And this is not a one, two day process. It may take a while, and that's okay. That is okay. This, that's the reason why in um, most societies and most occults, 40 is the age where you start helping others. You build yourself up first, and then at 40, everything should be ordered. Everything should be in order. Your kids, if they're not, um, your kids, most of the time, you know, your kids are either getting to that teenage stage, at that teenage stage, or at this day and age, a freaking adult, where they can handle themselves. And now you can go out and give to others, because not only do you have the experience, but you have the means, you have the access, you have the products that can truly help somebody else and not just lip service. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much. So, when you hear me talk about dark work, what I'm really talking about is working on self first. Uh, one of the things I always do um, in my spiritual counts, consulting, I don't take you outside. I don't go for what the world says. I don't go for what society says. I go for what your spirit says. I go for why you believe what society says. I go for why is that acceptable to you in your life. And normally they always come from some deep rooted fear. Most of the time it's because you just want to be accepted. And that's fine that you just want to be accepted. But if you don't accept yourself first, all of you, not just the parts that seem pretty, I mean all of you, the good, the bad, the ugly, the moles, the stretch marks from babies, the battle scars from different situations in your life, your attitude, your um, your quirks, uh, your goofiness, uh, your looks, especially as females, your looks, um, your hairline or lack of, uh, whatever, your crooked teeth. Uh, your beaver teeth, I got my beaver teeth, <laughs> your beaver teeth, your big cheeks, all of that, big eyes, whatever. If you don't accept yourself and all of you for who you are, how can you truly expect someone else to accept you when you don't even know you? You don't even know you. You know, as much as I love makeup, I use makeup to enhance what I consider beautiful in myself. As opposed to what most people do is they try to hide their flaws. I don't hide my flaws. I enhance what I consider beautiful. Um, I love my flaws. I have dark under eye circles, but I like to look bright. I have no problem saying that. My upper lip, if you can still see through the makeup, is dark right here. I have marks on my face here. Which, hey, I did a darn good job. My foundation today. You can't even see it. Anyway, <laughs> I have black spots here. My skin is recovering from eczema, which is why you see all this, which is actually doing really good. And if you want to know the secret, just use uh, coconut oil. Coconut oil, coconut oil, coconut oil, and if you don't drink enough water, start drinking more water. If you do drink a lot of water, start drinking coconut water. That you know, eczema, regardless of people say, really comes from toxins in your body and your body not being hydrated enough to replenish itself. So I drink a lot of water, but because my body is used to a certain amount of water, like again, this is knowing yourself because I drink a lot of water, and since my body is used to a certain amount of water, I got to a point in my life where water wasn't enough, so I had to up it. And coconut water is the best way to up it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so again, I'm using an example. I know I'm rambling, but that's still an example of dark work of knowing me, knowing my body, knowing how I work. Um, another example of dark work is because well, for me and my personality, I get angry like that. It don't take long to piss me off, but I know that I get angry like that, so I know how to control it. I know how to wield it, and I know how to make it work for me. I've been doing that for years. But most people hate that about me. Most people always say, I need to calm down, I need to do this, I need to do that. No. No, 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 no. Anger doesn't necessarily be a bad thing. Anger deals with uh, Mars, and Mars is a very, um, not only is it a forceful planet, it's also a very creative planet, a place where you create energy, a place where energy gets made. Um, this is not saying to have angry sex. That's something to hold up if you're trying to um, build energy that way if you're in the time trend stuff. Uh, but this is saying know yourself, know when to wield it, know when to use it, know how to use it. You don't have to yell this from the top of your, your lungs. You don't have to um, be forced on other people. But, you know, everybody has their own way of building energy, and that's 
a way that's always worked for me. Most people who are um, fire type people have mostly fire elements in them. I want to say mostly fire have, have a lot of fire element in, in them. Are people who get angry really really fast? Yes, it can turn to an anger management issue. Yeah, it can, and I had to learn growing up. Um, with no one able to teach me about the cult and everything. I had to learn on my own. I had to learn anger management issues. I was forced into Catholic for a little bit, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, but I had to learn anger, anger management issues, and it has worked. And learning anger management issues, I really didn't like it because it, it, it does teach you how to suppress it in a way, which I don't like. It teaches you how to free it in a way that, yes, it clears your mind, but it doesn't get anything done. So I had to learn on my own on how to use it to get things done. So, yes, yeah. again, I'm rambling, so I'm going to shut this video down. But that's what dark work is. Dark work is knowing yourself. Dark work is just, uh, a dark work is someone who knows their self. They don't just deal in dark, they deal in light too, but they know their self to the point where they're able to at least help other people in the areas that they, they may not have necessarily mastered, but they got enough control over where they can help somebody else who hasn't gotten to their level yet. Not saying that their level is higher or above, but just help somebody else, you know, help them as you go along, so they, but they know when to quit and know when to say, look, boo boo, I can't help you with this. You, you need help. You, you need to go somewhere else with that. Um, again, I'm rambling again, so I'm going to shut it down. So everybody, stay blessed and peace.